So, this is Queens of Stone Age, Mosquito Song. Um, we're just going to do the two main parts, which are that introduction riff, which is the verse riff, and the chorus riff, which is those open chords. D major, A minor, E major, and seven. Okay. So, we're going to, first of all, we have a look at the tabs. So, yeah. All right, fantastic. So, we've got starting out with an A minor chord. Simple straightforward A minor chord. Okay, so we've got our second finger on the second fret on the D string, third finger, second fret on the G string, first finger, first fret on the B string. Okay, and as you can see from the tabs, we're going to play the A string, the D string, and then we're going to strum the three higher strings all together. So the plectrum, and then we're going to come back to that D string. So that's just the first part right there, okay? Pretty straightforward. And then we've got this series of hammer-ons ending with a pull-off, okay? But it's just an A minor shape. So we're going to hammer on, you know, sorry, hammer on to the first fret on the B string. And I find this easiest if I just hold the A minor shape on there. Um, you could do it with one finger. You could use your first, you could use your first, and then your second. But I find that I end up hitting the G string open when I pull off the second fret on the D string. So I like to keep the whole A minor shape on there and just attack it one note at a time. So I'll, t I'll keep my whole A minor shape on there, I'll hammer onto the first fret on the B string, then I'll leave my finger there on the first fret, I'll take my third finger off. I'll hammer on, open to second there on the G, and then I'll do the same thing, leaving those two notes of the A minor chord in place, and I'll hammer on and pull off on my D string with my second finger. And as long as you pull your hammer off, your pull off at a diagonal angle through your fingers here, you should be able to pull it off with like a decent amount of volume. Often we'll pull off your pull straight down, and you can't do that because your, your third finger's in the way. But that's fine. That feels good to me. And if you do accidentally hit the B string or something, that A minor chord's there underneath, so you're not going to have too much trouble. And you're muting your G string because you're fretting it above where you're pulling off. Okay, so that first part's like this. One more time. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Then we're just going to a C major chord. We've got our third finger, third fret on the A string, second finger, second fret on the D, an open G, first fret on the B string. Open high E, C major, okay, and for that, so now we're into the, the second bar here, second measure. And we're doing a very similar pattern to what we did before. In fact, it's the exact same picking pattern on this hand. It's just that now, when we come back up to the D string, we're actually going to take our hand off entirely and just play the D, the G, and the B string open. Sounds a little bit, uh, but that seems to be what they're doing on the record. So. And what that does is it gives you time to take off the C major chord and put on an E major chord. Okay, which is our next chord that we're going to go to. So we do A string, B string, all of the top strings, so the, the G, B, and E open. Uh, sorry, just fretted. And then. Going to do the D, G, and B open. That gives us time to transition to the E major chord, where we're going to have our second finger, second fret on the A string, third finger, second fret on the D string, and our first finger is going to be first fret on our G string. And we're going to go low E, A string, and we're going to play the D, G, and B string all together, and then we're going to 
come back up to the A string. So this is the exact same pattern that we've done for the previous two chords, it's just all shifted up one set of strings, okay? Towards the lower strings, all right? So, and as we come back to our A string, we're gonna take our third finger off, and that's gonna leave us with an E dominant seven, an E seven chord. We're just gonna play the A, D, and G strings, okay? And that is pretty much it. So I'll play it right the way through. Okay, so if you hit some extra strings there, it's no big deal if you're playing the E. You have to go all the way through to the high E. Sounds kind of cool. You could strum the entire E dominant 7 there at the end if you wanted, okay? fuller you could do that uh, but this is the closest I could hear to the record okay so once we've done that we're gonna be going into our chorus chords and they're pretty straightforward okay we're gonna be doing the D major okay, we've got our first finger second fret on the G third finger third fret on the B second finger is second fret on the high E and we're playing open D string to start we're gonna strum that okay transition to our A minor and we're gonna repeat that pattern, okay? That's that first part of the tab right there. This is this series of hammer-ons and pull-offs. And then we're gonna go to uh, E major. And then strum an A minor again. And then when we go back through it, second time, D major to an A minor to an E7. Okay, and that's the final chord there on the tab is we're going to be playing open E string, second finger, second fret on the A, open D string, first fret with our first finger on the G, and then open B and open high E. And that will take us back into the verse. And one thing that's quite important to note about this song is that it's actually being recorded two whole steps down. So in order to play along to the record, you're gonna to have to tune your guitar all the way down, two whole steps. So if we're in E, and we go back, whole step, we're in D, another whole step takes us to C. So the entire guitar is tuned down two whole steps on every string, that's four frets. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to play along to this, uh, play along to the record, but we didn't wanna to have to restring our guitar because in order to get down to that, um, that pitch we would have to probably put heavier strings on we might have to change the action on the guitar it's a massive pain in the ass so instead what we can do is we can play along to it an octave up from the original by putting a capo on on the eighth fret okay and then we can play our a minor shape and be in the same <laughs> same key just an octave higher Shit, there's a crazy solo in there too, which if people want me to cover, I can cover, but it's kind of nuts, so I'd rather not. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, all right, see ya. <laughs>